Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have covered the single phase, half wave, uncontrolled rectifier with RL load and RL with free wheeling diode. That is the lecture number 9b. For R load and L load we have seen in lecture number 9a. In this lecture we will see RE type of load that is the battery charging type of load and RLE type of load in single phase half wave uncontrolled. This is lecture number 9c. Okay, so let us proceed to the first slide. See here in the load we are having RE means resistor and one battery. So this is also known as battery charging type of load. Now see here from 0 to pi. From 0 to pi I divide in two categories. First one is from 0 to theta and second is from theta to pi minus theta and I will also divide in three categories that is from pi minus theta to pi. See what is happening. From 0 to theta EMF this battery E is greater than the supply voltage. So from 0 to theta Vs supply voltage is less than E. So in this case diode will be in reverse bias. Whenever the anode potential is less than cathode potential then this diode will be reverse bias. Here the potential is E and here the potential is Vs which is less than E. So Vs is less than S means diode is reverse bias means output voltage V0 is equal to E. Here no current will flow I0 is 0 because of this diode. When diode get reverse bias means it is open circuited and I0 will be 0. When I0 will be 0 means voltage drop across this resistor will be 0. The voltage drop across this resistor will be 0 means V0 output voltage is equal to E that is the battery EMF. Okay. Now see from theta to pi minus theta means this is theta and this is pi minus theta. From theta to pi minus theta supply voltage is greater than E. So whenever supply voltage is greater than E means diode will be forward biased. Okay. So diode will be forward biased means it will be short circuited and short circuited means output voltage I will get that is equal to I0 R plus E. Output voltage is equal to I0 R plus E. So I can write I0 is equal to V0 minus E upon R in between theta to pi minus theta. Now see again from pi minus theta to pi from pi minus theta to pi again source supply voltage is less than the battery emf in this case diode will be reverse bias means it gets open circuited means i0 will be 0 i0 will be 0 and output voltage is equal to e only so output voltage i am getting from pi minus theta to pi that is equal to emf now from pi to now see the second case that is the from pi to 2 pi. From pi to 2 pi this potential is at E okay and this potential is negative from pi to 2 pi supply is less than 0. See from pi to 2 pi supply is less than 0 means anode potential is negative and cathode potential is equal to E means diode will be reverse bias. And when diode will be reverse bias means it gets open circuited and when it get open circuited and what will be the value of I0? I0 will be 0 and V0 is equal to E only. So from pi to 2 pi also we are getting E. Okay. So if I will ask you what is the voltage drop across this diode? So voltage drop across this diode from pi to 2 pi will be supply voltage minus output voltage. Voltage across diode. Suppose I have to find the voltage across diode. This is a supply voltage, this is open circuited and this is something like this voltage across diode and this is output voltage V0, right? So voltage across diode will be Vs minus V0, apply KVL, KVL here, you will get Vd is equal to Vs minus V0 and you will get uh, voltage across diode only when the diode is not conducting, means diode is open circuited. So whenever diode is open circuited means current will be zero. So Current will be 0 means V0 will be E. So Vs minus E. Okay. Hence the voltage across diode will be V0, Vs minus E. See from 0 to theta we are not getting current. 
means we, uh, the diode is open circuitry means we will get voltage across diode so voltage uh, di across diode will be vs minus e so from 0 to theta see emf is greater than vs so overall the voltage across diode will be negative from theta to pi minus theta the diode is conducting means it is short circuited so i am not getting voltage across diode after pi minus theta to 2 pi again the current will be zero because this diode will be open circuited means voltage across diode that is equal to vs minus v naught i am having v naught waveform like this from pi minus theta to 2 pi i am having v naught waveform like this and i am having vs waveform like this so if i will subtract v naught from vs then i will get somehow like this so voltage across diode will be somehow like this and the maximum voltage will be minus vm plus e so peak inverse voltage is coming out to be vm plus e got it in this way we can plot the output voltage output current and voltage across the diode now take a note first one is what is the peak inverse voltage peak inverse voltage will be in positive that is equal to vm plus e peak inverse voltage of the diode increases okay what is the conduction angle of diode the conduction angle of diode i can easily get from here diode is conducting from here to here okay and this i can easily find this is pi minus theta and this is theta so conduction angle will be pi minus theta and subtract theta that is equal to pi minus 2 theta third is i naught max we are getting at pi by 2 see i naught max maximum current i am getting at pi by 2 okay fourth point is find the i naught average so i naught average i naught average i am getting from theta to pi minus theta only and that is equal to 1 upon t 0 to t i naught t d omega t right what is the time period of this current waveform 2 pi 1 upon 2 pi for how much time it was conducting means for how much time the current i am getting from theta to pi minus theta and i naught t i have already derived that is equal to vm sin omega t that is vs minus e upon r okay and this is d omega t so i naught average is equal to take r outside this will be 1 upon 2 pi r vm integration of sine will be minus cos omega t and it will be integrated from theta to pi minus theta minus e into pi minus theta minus theta okay that is equal to 1 upon 2 pi r cos pi minus theta that is equal to minus cos theta and minus minus will get plus so this will be 2 vm cos theta minus e into pi minus 2 theta okay so this will be the i naught average now fifth point is what will be the v naught average v naught average will be i naught average into r plus e okay now the sixth point is input power factor for finding input power factor always you have to do input power is equal to output power okay input power is nothing but source rms voltage source rms current into cos phi is equal to output power here this is voltage stick type of load and also it is re type of load so output power what i will get i will get i naught rms square into r plus e into i naught average okay so cos phi will come out to be i naught rms square into r plus e into i naught average upon vs is okay so it is necessary to find the rms output current in order to find the input power factor so to find the rms in uh, output current first we will find the rms output voltage we can easily find the rms output voltage by using this waveform so let us find the rms output voltage so seventh point is equal to v naught rms so v naught rms i will get under root of one upon t time period is 2 pi now integrate this waveform from 0 to theta from 0 to theta we are getting e square we have to square the waveform in order to get the rms output voltage so e square d m r t plus theta to pi minus theta what is the output voltage the output voltage is equal to supply voltage that is equal to vm square 
साइन स्क्वायर ओमेगा टी डी ओमेगा टी वी एफ टी स्क्वायर अगेन फ्रॉम पाई माइनस थीटा टू दिस विल बी टू पाई आई एम गेटिंग ई स्क्वायर डी ओमेगा टी ओके एंड दिस होल इज अंडर रूट सो दिस इज सिंपल द इंटीग्रेशन आफ्टर सोल्विंग दिस यू विल गेट आउटपुट आर एम एस वोल्टेज इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन टू पाई ई ए स्क्वायर इंटू पाई प्लस टू थीटा प्लस वी एस स्क्वायर इंटू पाई माइनस टू थीटा प्लस पी एस स्क्वायर साइन टू थीटा ओके एंड दिस इज होल अंडर रूट दैट इज वन बाई टू सो दिस इज द आउटपुट आर एम एस वोल्टेज so once you have found the output rms voltage then you can easily found the output rms current that is equal to v not rms minus e upon r okay in this way we can find the rms output current this is the eight point so these all things you have to keep in mind because most of the questions you will get from re type of load in which they will ask you what is the average output voltage what is the average output current what is the rms output current so you have to keep in mind the waveform of this circuit now let us see the rle type of load this is the last type of load that is rle type of load see in re type of load we are getting output voltage till pi minus theta is equal to input voltage from theta to pi minus theta i am getting output voltage is equal to supply voltage that is equal to vm sin omega t means till this range diode is conducting now what i am doing i am inserting an inductor in series with load this is the rle type load so i am making rle type of load then what will happen the conduction angle of this diode will increase we have seen earlier that inductor increases the conduction angle inductor increases the conduction angle right so if i will insert the inductor then what will happen the conduction angle of this diode will increase means the current i will get for more angle so current i was getting for re type of load up to pi minus theta only but if i will make the rle type of load since inductor i am inserting in series with a load so conduction angle of this diode will increase and conduction angle of this diode will increase means the wave form of i not we will get for more angle so it will start from here and it will go from up to this that is at beta okay so till beta i am getting i not i not i am getting means this diode is short circuited so in this case the supply voltage since this diode is short circuited and this is the output voltage so the supply voltage will follow output voltage whenever this diode is conducting means the output voltage is equal to supply voltage i will get till beta so beta is somehow like here so output voltage is equal to supply voltage i will get like this up to beta and after beta it is again equal to e because after beta the current is zero so i not will be zero so this diode will get open circuited and output voltage is equal to e only because current is zero so the waveform of v not i will get something like this okay you have to keep in mind these things only nothing more than that because the question is not asked for rle type of load only you have to understand this concept means the conduction angle of this inserting of inductor will increase the conduction angle of diode means i will get i not for more angle so i not will increase till beta and because of increase in conduction angle of diode the output voltage will follow supply voltage for more angle till beta it will follow the supply voltage so if i will have to make the waveform of rle type of load then i will do like this i not i will get after pi minus theta also means up to beta this is beta and up to beta the output voltage will follow the supply voltage because diode is sorted i not i will get means diode is sorted and this is rle type of load and this is my output voltage so di when diode is sorted means we are getting i not and i not i am getting up to beta okay so i not i am getting up to beta means v not will follow the supply voltage till beta okay so v not will follow the supply voltage this is beta and this is pi 
so v naught will follow the supply voltage like this okay after that again it will be equal to emf and again it will repeat like this so for rle type of load you will get output voltage waveform like this okay that's all about this lecture i have covered re and rle type of load in this lecture that is 9c this is 9b and this is 9a in the next lecture we will move to the controlled single phase half wave control rectifier so if you guys understood the concept then please like this video for doubt solving you can join our facebook group thanks for watching this video